One storm ago, the worst of the last two, a very busy fire station stepped up for a different sort of challenge. As they were sitting down for supper, after a day of long runs, a non-emergency call came in and they knew they had to get back on the road. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buto with this week's Street Story. Storms bring in tons of runs for first responders, but sometimes non-emergencies get the call as well. Trees toppling chimneys, water flooding basements, power outages, fires. We're in the middle of the storm and, uh, you know, we're running around doing a few fires and a bunch of runs. It's just a busy day for us. We just sit down to eat and uh, Firefighter Sullivan gets a text that says, hey, uh, we need you at the hot club. But it wasn't for beer and popcorn. For two years, the hot club and a number of other businesses have been blinking good night to the kids at Hasbro Children's Hospital. In the summer of 16, we took you to the East Bay bike path. All right, light them up. Where East Providence police joined the 830 light show. And right before Christmas, we watched Frank and Tyler Picozzi's Christmas display on wheels. Oh, 802? Wow, <laughs> that's early. Attract a small crowd of lights to the shadows of the hospital. All right, Ty, hit it. It's close enough, hit it. I just wanted to give them a little bit of Christmas and their families a little bit of comfort. The problem last Friday was a storm took out the hot club's power. So the call to Molas's Washington Street Station was a non-emergency emergency to keep good night lights on. Literally, it was put off walks down and let's go. Forgotten was that draining day. It's tiring, but there was absolutely no hesitation. We were going. There's no choice. How can you say no to the kids at Hasbro? Engine 3 got there first, and they, unfortunately, they caught a run. They had to back out and respond to their emergency. By that time, power was restored, but it didn't matter. The firefighters weren't quite sure what to do or even when exactly to do it. But the kids knew. Maybe a minute before 8, 8 29, they were flashing their flashlights there and we could see them clear as day. What was it like to see those lights go on? It was just a heartfelt experience and you know, you, you're making a difference in, in that kid's night. We all turned our lights on and the guys were blowing the horn and you know, here we are flashing the, the flashlights back at them. So it was in the back of your head about the thoughts about, you know, what is this kid going through? No one is quite sure whether or not the kids realized a fire truck was part of that stormy good night, but now they know power or not, the tradition will continue. On Washington Street in Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.